I used to be bullied a lot. I used to not have friends. I never learned to be in a group situation or how to deal with conflict. But now, as an adult, I've come so far. <laughs> Many things happened here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, how do I do it? Do I just do this one? Drink this first and then this. Okay. Was it your first pickle bite as well? I think I've had them at the south side before. Okay, ready? Da! Yum! Yum! Ah. Oh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always running. He's really okay. good. He's a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so he owns a place out there? Yeah. But yeah, definitely keeps the vibes. He's all about it. So good. But now we're not alive. Why are you going make that? Roomy night. It's good. Or cool. roomy evening. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, actually it doesn't look like this so good. Yeah. This is like gnocchi. Actually, gnocchi pasta. Mm -hmm. So, this is gnocchi or that? For the thumbnail. So good. You get the mixing of the books together. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Need to buy another mint too? I thought this was a straw, so I started to drink with this, but it's not a straw. <laughs> this is a straw. Oh. It still worked a bit. On the best rooftop of Seoul. Oh yeah, baby. It is so weird because we've been here always like at night <laughs> when the sun's down. So we started to picture so many situations that happened for us in this area. As if we are like uh, playing the movie again, but when everyone is out. Because many things happen here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whatever happens in Casa Corona stays in Casa Corona. Except if uh, Grace is taking pictures. <laughs>
수렴하다 수렴아 죄송한 걸 없네요 맨날 저거 그냥 맨날 잠든 거 절대 맛없을 수 없어 내가 이번에 그 하동에 놀러 왔거든요 그때 느꼈어 내가 엄마가 가지를 줬어요 밭에서 난거 그래서 가지랑 고기를 구워 먹었는데 세상에 버섯 구워 먹는 거 지금까지 맨날 어디 화장하게 자가지고 몰랐는데 다 해체가 강력함이 이런 거였구나 <웃음> 아줌마가 되었어 My mullet that I had in Netherlands was a bit better. This one I look a little bit like nerd when it's like this. When it's like this. You <laughs> <laughs> look like a, the pe a peasant. In <laughs> For some reason, this week I was so busy, but in a good way because every day I was meeting my friends. Um, some, some friends, they're leaving Korea. Some friends... They left Korea, but they came back for a while. Um, and some old friends to catch up with. And what I realized is that it's always nice to have those kind of people in your life where you can share everything about everything, what's going on in your life. And to be honest, I was going through like a bit of rough rough moments i guess and my friends really helped me a lot they were good listeners they gave me really good advice and you know like kind of advice that only someone who cares about you can give kind of advice so yep i'm always grateful for those friends and uh, it definitely makes life less lonely. So, yeah, it was kind of a wholesome week, I'd say. But I drank so much, so health wise, I'm not sure if it was wholesome for my body. <laughs> but, yep, this week was nice. I really liked it. If you met me right now, you'll think that I'm a very outgoing person, extroverted, and I'm a party girl. Um, but the thing is, when I was growing up, especially during my teenage years, I used to be bullied a lot. I used to not have friends. Um, I did have friends, but like, I was never in a group. So me and other quiet girl would be friends together. It would be like always one on one kind of friendship. And even though when I was like in a group, I would be always I'll be the one who gets like kicked out, bullied eventually. Um so this was the thing that I had to overcome as an adult because those teenage years is when you learn how to solve conflict, how to... Because like during teenage years, it's when your brain is developing and stuff and you fight with, you have arguments with friends, fight with them, and you like problem solving the relationship and eventually everything works out for lucky people, I guess. But for me, I was, for me, conflict was it. There, there would be a conflict and I would be alone. 
no one would talk to me or no one would be like welcoming me into their group so I was always alone and I never learned to be in a group situation or how to deal with conflict um, and this I found out through my therapy so after realizing this I started to like just put myself out there and I don't know exactly how I did it or I think that the self-awareness just like helped itself but looking back now I have a really nice <laughs> not nice um, I have really I guess it's nice group of friends who are always supporting me they've been they know they've been um, we've been hanging out for many years I wouldn't say like 10 years or something but like five years six years and not only that I made I'm not sure if it's the right expression but like I have like this friends group and this friend group like party friend group more like intellectual debate friend group um, career related friend group and yeah so I was like thinking wow I never had a group of friends when I was in high school or middle school but now as an adult I've come so far and I have many friends now but oh, but oh, it's it's not always easy. it's 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 hard <laughs> because through this journey even now or even like very recently I had to let go of some friends because our value wasn't matching and the important thing is that I'm kind of a person who always thinks like reflect on myself and when something's triggering me or make something makes me uncomfortable I tend to like think like why is this triggering me or why 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 I want to get to know the problem know the cause and I realized that not many people are comfortable doing this so some of my friends who get along well they are they are also this type of people who always reflect on themselves and um we talk about like what we went through, what we were going through this week and how we realized how we, how we can evolve from this but some of the friends that I had to let go is type of people who don't know how to do that and they're just scared of digging inside your heart or your thoughts um, so obviously the conversation doesn't get much deeper and also some friends would freak out at me because I guess I'm doing what they can't do so it scares them and some of them would try to like drag me down saying like stuff like why are you so serious or can you stop going to therapy um, yeah, so it's always like ongoing journey, but I just wanted to say that as a kid who never had a big group of friends, uh, I'm very proud of myself for trying this hard and not giving up. And also I want to thank my friends who are always supportive. And yeah, this video is was dedicated to friendship, I guess. Bye!